Hello and welcome to Easy Drupal. Today we're finally going to be uh, upgrading from Drupal 8.920 to Drupal 9.2, sorry, 9.3.12 or whatever the latest one is. Uh, so if you remember in the previous video, we looked at the upgrade status page and fixed various issues. We're now all green, we've got 100% here. So we should be able to flick over to our command line and run a composer update to upgrade us. There's a couple of other steps we need to do as well. So this is a page that's on the Drupal site, which basically gives you the commands you need to do to do your upgrade. So we're gonna follow this. Uh, basically it's changing some settings on the settings and services files, adding some requires to composer and then doing a composer update. So we're gonna do that now. Uh, let's get command line get over to the command line and I'll show you how it works. Okay, we're on the command line. Uh, let's run those commands. Obviously I don't have a web directory, so I need to do those individually and get rid of the web. When this site was set up, it should have had a web, web folder, but it wasn't set up correctly probably by me, so I will take the blame. Okay, that's done that. Uh, then we can run our, add our dependencies to Composer. That's now updated it. Um, we don't need to do, oh yes, we do need to do the dev updates. Can't remember if I've got dev in use on this, but we may as well update it as well. And then Composer update, this is where it breaks. Cross your fingers. Clear the cache. That was quick. Uh, just do a drush status to see what version, I can't spell drush, never can for some reason. That should hopefully tell us that we are now on Drupal version 9.0.14. Excellent. So we've flipped over to nine. We should now be able to increase that to 9.3. Sorry, I better just run any updates. Just do a drush status again. Okay, so now we need to increase our Drupal version. Okay, let's have another go. This time I removed the composer log file, which should mean that we haven't got anything blocking us. So I have updated my Composer file to include the requires for 9.3 for dev and for core recommended. Okay, so I had to make some changes to my composer.json. I had the wrong recommended project in there. I think that looks like that might be, have upgraded us to 9.1. I don't know why it's alpha one, but uh, that's moved us on a stage. So if we look in our composer.json now, we have got recommended project. Or recommended greater than nine. Not sure this is going to work, but we'll give it a go. So after an awful lot of messing around, I found something that I had in my composer.json called vendor hardening. Don't really know what it was, but uh, it seems to be a hangover from Drupal 8. Uh, and now when I run composer update, we're all good. 
And if I do a drush status, we've got version 9.3.14 uh, and we're all good. So after a bit of faffing about, I managed to get there. Hard to kind of explain what went wrong, <laughs> uh, but it should have been simple. Um, if you'd have followed those steps correctly, it should have been easy. So all I need to do now is just uh, turn my permissions, correct my permissions again. Obviously this won't work, but it'll allow me. So I can take the web away. So that's services, settings, and the folder itself. Okay, sorry, that was a little bit unclear. Uh, it's really, really hard to test these things because to go forwards and backwards is quite difficult. Okay, so we're on Drupal 9.3.14. Hopefully the site is still working. I'll just quickly check that. It is. I do need to run database updates though, it's telling me. So let's do that quickly, because I forgot that. Okay, that's it. We're all good. So yeah, the problem was that I had uh, a dodgy line in my composer.json and whatever I tried, I couldn't get around that. Uh, that was blocking it. But in the end, I found what it was, removed that, and we were good to go. That's called a victory sip when you do that. Okay, thanks very much for watching. See you on the next one.